That's right. I am in the kitchen. It's Wednesday morning, so yes. you know what that means. Nick Raybar is here. I'm here. The one and only. Yes. I was just saying, I'm excited about this recipe in particular today because it sounds delicious. So ham and cheese pockets. That's right. That's right. That sounds great. Now let's let's add a few adjectives to that. Okay. Because we're not just using any ham. No, cheese no, 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 okay. no. What kind of ham? I don't come here just to do ham and cheese. <laughs> we're doing tasso ham. Tasso ham. And pimento cheese pockets. Oh, if you look so over good. here, you can see we have a few ingredients. Okay. We have dough. We have tasso ham. We have scallion, we have gouda cheese, we have pimento, and we have flour. Now, okay. within that, yeah. it seems very simple. It seems very, uh, but there's but there's so many other ingredients within the ingredients. Within the ingredients and themselves. And that's what makes this something special. I'm excited for this one. Well, if you've never tried tasso ham, I encourage you just to like grab a piece and like give it a shot. Okay. It is, uh, is it spicy? It's got spice to it. So okay. tasso is like a Louisiana style ham. Okay. And it's a real thing. I'm not making it up. Uh, and if you haven't, a lot of people <laughs> haven't kidding. heard of tasso ham. I have um, never heard of it. Well, so what it is, it's like a cured, smoked, uh, they use typically with tasso. We can, okay. We can kind of make it out of either the butt or the shoulder, but it's most commonly made with the shoulder. Gotcha. And then it's smoked for hours and hours and hours, uh, okay. and uh, it's rubbed with this beautiful, it like, sounds delicious, Cajun actually. flavors, cayenne pepper and garlic, and it's so it's Spicy and that smoky. Spice. Since we're in the south with the tasso, we're going to stay in the south with the pimento cheese. Now, pimento cheese is, I guess you can use spread or cheese relish, yeah. which sounds strange, but right. that's actually but it what works. it is. It works really well. So pimento, uh, it has like the, the the red peppers in it, like the sweet red peppers. Yeah. It has cheddar cheese. It has mayonnaise, uh, chive, pinch of salt. Oh, really loud flavors. So and good. gouda is like a creamy cow's milk cheese. Um, which is fantastic. So that's gonna like bring it's all, all this gonna together. flow together. I've got a standard little pizza dough here that I'm gonna cut into fours. This is a one pound pizza dough. Love if it. If you get it at the store, cut it into fours, let it re rise. Yes. I'm gonna roll it and I'm gonna form into these little pockets. They're gonna be out of control. This is gonna be out of control gonna today. Out of, it's out always of control. good. It's always out of control when he's here. Yes. We're excited for these. The full recipe is right over at roadshow.com, but stick around because Nick will be here throughout the whole show today. I'm here all morning long. I <laughs> see you guys. You can't get rid of me. Can't. <laughs> We are back at the Roadshow Kitchen. Nick Ray Bars here. Avenue N is a place we've got tasso ham and pimento cheese pockets on the menu. These are perfect. If you want to make some ahead of time, send the kids to school with this, or just eat them eat them yourself. Yeah, that's all the uses. That's, that's, that's what they're good for. So and it's like I'm, a hot pocket. It's like a hot pocket. Oh, it's so good. You know, I went through a period in my life where I was, you know, I, I went through like a hot pocket kick. <laughs> Did you? Well, when I was young and cooking all the time, right. you'd get home at two in the morning. You right. know, you had very few choices. Oh, it up so this night. is a little bit of a little bit of that. It's also very good for, like you said, just something ready to go ready to eat. Yes. Um, so what do you got? What do you well, have? I'm glad you really asked. Good. So it is really good. And uh, you're going to try this, Will, before they come out of the oven because they're going to be piping hot. You're going to need to take a break. Right, right, right. So this is, uh, so this is four ingredients. One of them is tasso ham. Okay. Tasso ham. Tasso ham, tasso ham is like a, a Louisiana ham. Okay. Uh, typically made from the shoulder and not the butt. So it's a little fattier um, and it takes a little bit more cooking. Uh, it's almost like uh, uh, like a smoked cured process that goes into it. Okay. Then it's rubbed with some spices, cayenne pepper, garlic. It has a little bit of heat to it. Nice. Um, with pimento cheese. So that's ingredient number two, but okay. pimento cheese has a lot of ingredients within it. Mm -hmm. That's sort of like a cheddar cheese relish with mayonnaise and pimento peppers. Right. Then I put some gouda in there, Will, and just a little bit of scallion. So why don't you grab a spoon oh, over there, here, and I want you to try the mixture before these come out of the oven. I took a pizza dough, mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll wait for your, your critique over here. And uh, Nicole is running cam today. She's doing a great job. See, she's right on you. She See, this, woman, this girl's a natural right here. Um, isn't it delicious? That's delicious. So, and it's different. It's but a different little filling. I, I would just, I would just eat this. That's all you need to do, Nicole. You were close on that right? one. Right. But you're doing great. I'm going to take these out would, of the I oven. Really would. I would just eat this. We're coming so to the predetermined landing spot, which is right here on this burner. And these are what they look like when complete. So right. they, they're bursting with pimento cheese. Mm -hmm. Bursting with pimento cheese. I took the dough, I folded it over, and I focused on sealing it. And I just tear a little hole on top. It's nice. It takes all the, it comes out, it caramelizes. Right. It Makes a little bit of a gratin, and then um, we're going to serve these with some chipotle ranch on Ooh, the side. So you can dip it. You can dip it. You can do whatever you want with it, buddy. So let's take these and go straight over here, 
And these actually came out very, very nicely. They did. Um, really beautiful little pockets. And Will, I came in, I was so, let me put a little scallion, even though I'm gonna regret it, because a little color goes a long way. No, I don't regret it, Will. No. Nah, I'm good with no it. No regrets. I'm good with it. No regrets no in life, regrets. especially when it comes to tasso hand. And I'm gonna, uh, we'll swing this over, so. Yes, yes. So we, Nicole can get a, a yes. shot of that. Yes, there she's doing great. And speaking, so I came in today, this is how easy uh -huh. these were. Okay. There's nothing pre-made here. Slow zooming? Yeah, wow, nice. wow, wow. They're get, get the statue bronze Woo! up for her. You know, we're taking home an Emmy today, baby. Yes, we are. I came in today, I think it was the latest I've ever gotten here. It was 8.50. Susanna was at the door. We don't talk about Susanna. No. You know, we're talking about Nicole. Eric gets a lot of love. Bonnie gets a lot of love. But sure. Poor Susanna has to be like the face, Greets the greet, everybody. everybody. And she was kind of like tapping her toes. Like, uh, excuse me, sir. Really? You know, you're really cutting it close. So I was worried, actually, that I might not be able to get this done. I've been standing around. We've just been laughing for the last 10 minutes it's back here. Perfect. They're perfect. They took me no time. Right. Absolutely no time. So pimento cheese, we we had pimento cheese at uh, Honeybird. Okay. Honeybird has been rocking. If you haven't been down to Honeybird for a minute, uh, I don't know Doors what are open. I don't know what you're what you're waiting for. It's like one of the hottest restaurants going. Um, we have the pimento cheese there. You can just go get a little bit there. So what do you what do you use it on at the restaurant? So we just serve it on the side. Oh, you do. So okay. like pimento cheese in the south is like a little bit. It's like you put it on a cracker. Oh, right. uh, we serve it with some pickled onions and some celery and some saltines. Fantastic. And it, it you know comes in its little jar. It's beautiful. But you can get like a pint of it or a cup of it to go mm -hmm. if you want to make this home tasso ham readily available. You can find that at most grocery stores. Even though a lot of people haven't heard of tasso, it's a powerful ingredient. Yeah. And pimento cheese is a powerful ingredient. So really good. you don't need a lot of ingredients when you have these two. And if you want this, I'm going to make some version of this today. Okay. In the pantry, I might do a grilled cheese or I might do these calzones at the restaurant. Awesome. Pay attention to the pantry at Avenue N on Instagram or Avenue N American Kitchen on Instagram or just give me a call or come by and see me. We're going to be serving this somehow, some way so good. today. So this is good. awesome stuff. All right, so follow them on Instagram. Go check out the restaurant. If you want the recipe for this, it was simple and easy to make, although I didn't do anything. Well, you, he did all the work. You ate. I did have I yeah, had a spoonful, yeah, yeah. and it was delicious. Uh, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com. And if you see Nicole on the street, let her know she crushed it today.